Okay. Ah, we are <laughs> live. We are live. All right, I gotta pull I, the chat. Yeah, did you change title and everything like that? Nope. Great. Why, why, <laughs> do you think, why do you think I was just asking about the PD270 name and shit? <laughs> just for fun, I was like, hey, what's the name of that, by the way? Just like, for fun. What, what, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so I should probably get all my shit out. I got the I got the captain and shit in front of me, but I figured I might as well just fucking. I should probably put juice in this thing, considering I'm gonna have to take a couple pulls off it as much as I don't want to, because I fucking hate this thing. Yeah, dude, that looks dope. That looks that looks that looks. That See, looks that's amazing. why I was saying before I wanted to try to get everything together. I wanted to get like, I had an idea for what we had to put up there, and then now it's good. Yeah, that's um, good. So I'm going to put some cream in there because I'm not putting good juice in this tank anymore because I'm done with it, but hey. Um, but what are we starting off with? I figure we should probably do the captain first because that's like, you know, there's more people looking to get like regulated shit like that than people that care. Like the stacks are kind of just like niche market kind of shit. So I don't think anybody's going to want to sit through that just to yeah. like watch about this piece of shit captain. Let's let's get the captain out of the way. All right. So um, um do you, so I you know that I hate it. So if you if you enjoy it, do you wanna do you wanna go about it first? Because I got nothing but cons. That's not true, but I got a ton of cons on it. I, I got. I think I have um, an equal amount of pros and cons, but the cons outweigh the pros. So I'll start with it. Um, this mod came out like what a month, two months ago. Yeah, it was Less. like it came out like literally while I was at your house. It had yep. like come out like that week, and then because I picked this one up, like what the day I got back, I went to the shop and they had it. Yeah, it was like a couple so, days later. Um, so it came out a little bit ago, and it was all on the hype train because it had the twenty seven hundred batteries, um, which are fairly new. I enjoy put them out. They're really good batteries, actually. Um, and as far as the mod goes, it's got some nice finishes to it. They got the stainless, they got black, they got rainbow. I like that they have the alternate colors. Um, I like the way the grips feel. Um, the button seems nice. It doesn't rattle. The batteries fit in there well, although that's pretty much all the pros. I think it hits. I think it hits like a bitch. Um, it, dude, right? It really does, though. It hits yeah. like such a little bitch. I'm at 120 watts, and it's a good two-second ramp-up time. I mean, before I feel like I'm actually getting a hundred and some watts, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like it. The looks, once you get batteries in there, it feels pretty hefty. It feels pretty heavy duty, but without batteries in there, your fucking, your door does absolutely nothing. Look, it doesn't stay shut. <laughs> it, just, <laughs> it just doesn't. Um, but and I know you've been having some major issues with yours. I haven't been having any major issues with mine. But at the moment, my screen looks still good. So that's a plus. I just took off my screen protector, but it still looks good. Um, I don't have any scratches on the bottom of it. So, I mean, the finish is great on it. Yeah, but... the finish isn't bad except for the fucking, I don't know, the screen fucking... Mine's all scratched up to hell, and, like, I haven't dropped it. I haven't rubbed it on anything. I haven't, like, done anything out of the ordinary with it. And it just, like, it's all scratched to hell. Um, like, I'm at, I'm at 200 watts. It's pulling, like, 4.3, 4.4 volts. And my, like, dude, it fucking, the, the accuracy of the resistance is completely fucked. Um, I would think that at 200 watts, this thing would hit really nice, but it doesn't. Like, the ramp up no. isn't bad, but, like, fucking. It just, like. It's just not there. So, it's reading. I've got the TFV12 with the T12 coil. This thing is. I'm taking this off. This thing is leaking everywhere. Um, this coil is fucked. Um. So the TFV12 with the T12 coil, which should be reading at a solid 0.12, as it does on every other mod, reads at like a 0.1 or a 0.09. That's what I'm getting when I put my 12 on there too. I don't know if that's the TFV12s or if that's this mod, 
Um, like, well, no, like mine, I put it on uh, the GX just for testing, and it came in at a like a point one two seven or something, which the GX is actually really fucking accurate. Um, and then I put it on something else. I can't remember what. I put it on something else, came in at a point one two. Put it on my shitty little, shitty little ohm tester, came in at a point one two. Yeah. Put so. it on this mod, it comes in at a point one zero or a point oh nine, which that dude, that's off by a lot. I think I got a point one four build on my Tsunami twenty five. It was that triple parallel nichrome that you did. Yeah. I think it was a point one three or something like that, and this is coming in at a point one oh. So it's like point zero two off, and that's that that's dangerous. That's a, that's I mean, a lot. It's it's, it's that's... gonna drop you down underneath that point one. That's it's either just that's... not gonna fire, but. Like that's Forest. a big difference. I mean, the the yeah. nice thing is, you know, you, you do have those forty amp batteries. I'm sure that it's wired up so that it kind of they work together to help with the amperage. But like, I don't I don't know, dude. I just to be I to be off by that much. It'll th I know these will fire down to a point oh five, like, and that's in power mode. Yeah. They'll go down to a point oh five. So like, it's it's not so much that like, I don't know. I just find it really fucked up that they're off by mine is mine is off by up to like 0 0.05 mine's off by up to like you know quite a lot like that's 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 a big difference when you're building 0 0.05 can make all the difference if you're planning on you know building low yeah and then like swapping it from this to like you know like i i i, I pulse my coils on this thing i get them all firing even on this thing that i put them on a mech and i'll have a build that says that it's like you know and it'll fluctuate up or down, which is what bugs me. I had a build that was reading at like a point one two, and I was like, "Okay, dope." Put it on, put it on my Mac, and the battery was hot as shit after like four hits. And I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Put on the ohm tester, and it was like a point oh eight or a point oh nine. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. "All right, well that ain't legit at all." Now, granted, that's my fault. I should have just thrown on the ohm tester, but that was before I knew that these things were that inaccurate at times. Like it was before I knew that they were reading that freaking inaccurate. Yeah, I agree. I, even when I put it on um, my Lux box, this big ass twenty six six fifty, it'll read a different ohm than that. So like, I'll build at, build at a point one two on there, and it's safe for a mech mod. But then you put it on this, and it reads at a point one, and now you're in the danger zone. It's so it's, it's just it needs I, to be. It's it's very inaccurate. The chip isn't great. The menu system kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, temperature mode I used on this for about a week. I didn't really feel very much power coming from it at all. And a lot of people really enjoy um, a temperature vape because it can get hot at a like a higher resistance. Right. But it, it's not. It, it doesn't feel like it's pushing 600 degrees Fahrenheit at all at 110 watts. It was a very, very cool, cool vape. I don't know why, but your audio is like dropping really low at times here and i don't know if it's on your side or mine um i don't know it might be that shut up go in your audio options like go to home go to settings and then turn off uh automatically adjust microphone because i think it's i think it's swapping them up and down um but like so like there's that gripe the the inaccuracy of the of the coils is is one of my gripes the other gripe that i have is this shoddy ass battery door so like let me see if i can pull let me open up obs so i can actually see what i'm doing here so like the battery door has a ton of it's mostly like wiggle room this way but like the thing what like look at the mod like the, yeah. the fucking shit just it's all over the place like this way there's not really a whole lot of movement but just the the door just like that's not that's not cool dude and I don't know how big that bar is that's holding that door into the mod itself. If it's like a tiny ass bar, I'll guarantee you that 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 thing is gonna break. Like, look at how I have this right now. Like that's that's not cool. Like that's just shoddy right there. Like that's completely freaking shoddy. Um, it remind like the locking, the latching is legit. It's it reminds me of an alien. Um, so it's legit as far as that goes. Um, but as far as like the rest of the mod, I mean, it is, it is an iJoy mod, so I don't expect it to be like, you know, super, you know, aircraft grade construction, but when you're paying, cause these mods aren't exactly like cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, I feel like at this point I just kind of 
paid for the batteries and the mod was just kind of like something that came with the batteries. The battery life is horrible also. Like the battery life is garbage. And then, you know, because they're the 40 amp batteries, they take for fucking ever to charge, which that's that's mostly just about the batteries. But as far as the mod goes, dude, my fucking batteries are drained so quick. Like, I use it, or I was using it on the ride into work and the ride home from work, dead after those two drives. So maybe what? I don't know, maybe 40 pulls? pulls? No, not even, oh. dude. I'm talking like. How many watts? I don't many know. Watts? Maybe like 150, 160, give or take. And so we're talking like probably around 40 or 50 poles, and these batteries are junk. And what I noticed with this one is that this is not like an all or nothing mod. You know how like with a lot of these regulated mods, you'll, you either get full battery life, like you get a full hit, and then your batteries are low and it won't fire at all. This one, when they get down towards like that a third percentage, like they get down to like 30, 40%, thing starts hitting like garbage almost like a mac does yeah, like it starts it, hitting it, like dog shit it's uh what amada got over here does it too it's the sageli it has like a little battery indicator bar and once you get down below like 40 percent if you have it set at 110 watts it's gonna drop you down to about 100 and or i'm sorry you have it set at 110 watts it drops you down to like 54 watts it doesn't allow you. It's like a battery con conservation thing, and it's just yeah. That's that's fine, but this dumb. thing this thing continuously tries to pull at that two hundred, and so it's just stressing out those batteries, and you're getting a garbage hit. Like I'm not a big fan of of that. I'm just straight up not the biggest fan of the mod. I think that if you're vaping at like low wattages, like if you if you like build your own and you vape like at sub like 100 watts i'm sure this thing will be dope i'm sure it'll work great but for a mod that's you know it's basically advertised as you know any mod that goes up to 230 some odd watts i'd expect you could actually vape it at that wattage and get some decent life out of it like the alien i could run at 200 watts and it'll last me all fucking day this thing i'm not even getting home and back from work without it dying that, I don't know. Like, market it as something else. If you're gonna if you're gonna say it does 230 watts, at least mention that. Like, hey, at 230 watts, you're gonna get like worse than mech time out of this thing. Well, in respect to iJoy, I think that their batteries are good. Mooch says the batteries are good, you know, and he's the battery king. Yeah, but they're not I, like I, their I, batteries though. They're just rewrapped like well, uh, yeah. Panasonic's. They're not they're not like iJoy batteries. It's like they manufacture the things. They just rewrap them like they do everything else. But, so I can't even give him that. Um, I think it's the chipset in this device. I think we need to see more dual 2700 regulated devices and um, put the batteries in there and see if the chips just set is more efficient in other mods than this one. I think it's the mod. I don't think it's the batteries. Uh, no, it's definitely the mod. The mod is just junk. And then the other thing that I want to touch on and I know that the mod did this. I don't know how it managed. I got to get like a rag because this fucking tank has been sitting since like Thursday unused and it's like dripping everywhere. But so I know this mod did it. But if you look at the 510, which you saw this already, but if you look yes. at the 510 yes. on this tank, it's got, let me see if I can get the light to hit it somehow where you can see it. And this camera sucks so bad, but you can see that black dot on there. It's actually like a ridge. It's actually like a little like ridge that's been burnt into the 510. It's a ring. So there's a black um, ring and then you got, you know, the actual, um, the actual, I don't know, what are these are probably what, stainless or aluminum. Um, it, it, it looks like a little, just like a black O and it's etched into the 510. Like yeah, I can run my nail steel, along it. Not, yeah. I can, I can like scrape my fingernail along and I can feel it. It's an actual burnt edge into the five, into the 510 on this tank. And I did notice that the 510 on the mod is quite a bit rounded. So I think that what it is, is I think that the center, the absolute dead center of the 510 is contacting that pin. And I think the rest where it starts to round out is arcing. Arcing, con Consistently, yeah. like constantly arcing, which is fucking dangerous as shit. And it's fucking burning a hole in that 510. And I don't know if that yeah. would have anything to do with my battery life being drained. Um... 
but I'm wondering if it does. I'm wondering if the thing is just consistently arcing 24-7 while the thing is attached. Um, I mean, it's I not to, firing or nothing, um, but... I need to put my TFV-12 on this uh, iJoy and see if mine does the same thing, because I, I went and looked at the bottom of my TFV-12, which I have sitting on my GX, and there is, like, a little nipple on the 510 that sticks out just a hair farther so yeah it would absolutely arc all the way around that i think because it is around it yeah i think the count and there is there's arc marks all over the 510 on the mod itself there's a there's, it's and it's the same shape it's the same shape as the one that's on there it's like mostly rounded then there's like a little section where it kind of flattens out and i got the exact same shape of arc marks on the 510 of the mod so that's like hella shitty like that's really fucking shitty so like if I had an RDA that I really, really cared about, like a battle deck or something, I was running it on here. Just I don't know why you put a battle deck on this, but let's just say you did. You're you have you're basically slowly ruining the 510 on that thing. Like yeah, it's hitting and it's fine, but like you're you're chipping that thing up. You're freaking etching it. Like that's just not cool. Like that's straight yeah. up not cool. Like imagine if you were to like you know I think what is the battle deck? It has a has a it's a solid s- silver. Yeah, it's it's not silver plated. No, it's a solid silver chunk. I had to sand mine down because there was a um. I was trying to I was tightening it up and I was using the uh, the coil master flathead and I tightened it too far and I kind of like um put some burrs on it. So I took some sandpaper and I sanded it down, dude. It was sanding through that shit with 400 grit like nothing. And oh, okay, silver is cool. really soft. Like silver is incredibly soft, and that's like that's a solid silver pin. That's why they hit so good. Yeah, I also think if you got anything that is copper plated or silver plated, it's it's gonna just ruin the five ten pin on yeah, it. Yeah, it's sure. it's gonna burn right through that plating, and you're gonna be stuck with whatever's under it. It that's just that that's that right there alone is enough for me to not want this mod. Never mind, you know the five hundred other issues. The fact that it etches the hell out of your five, and I honestly do. I've heard nobody else talk about it. Like, I've seen no other reviewer be like, oh, you know, I've been using the sim for two months, and, and I, you know, I've, I've noticed that it etches my fives. I have, I don't think anybody I don't, I don't think anybody keeps the shit on there. I think they're constantly trying out different RDAs and different tanks, which I understand that. But it's shit like this that, like, if, if somebody told me that when I went to buy it, like, oh, by the way, that thing is going to burn the hell out of your 510 and, and, and render your tank or RDA almost useless, I'd be like, I'm good, dude. Like, I'm, I'm going to pass. Yeah, I I think they all put out the reviews, and they're all just they're all just pushing out these reviews. And this one, unfortunately, I mean, I liked it when I first got it. I think you did too. But after two weeks of using it, and you've been using it for like, well, I've been using it for three. You've been using it for like a month. It's just it's not performing well, and it's damaging other products, and it's dangerous, and it's unsafe. No, it's it's I I I completely am not on board with this mod. Um, and I've been, you know, after this and after, you know, the Kennedy and after this mod and the past few that I've bought, I've been noticing that I'm, like, really, really harsh when it comes to, like, reviewing shit and, like, what I consider, like, a good mod and what I don't. Um, but when it when it comes to the amount of money you pay for these things, I, I expect for them to be better than this. I, I expect a flat 510. I don't expect it to, to ruin other products that you put on it. Um, and I mean, these things are what? These things are like 90 bucks. bucks. Are they 70? I, 70. I think I overpaid then. Um, well, but like, no, you got the tank with it, didn't you? Nope. I just got, I just got, there is no tank that comes with it. Is yeah, there? they have, yeah, they have a few, but anyways, um, um, it comes with two batteries though, on top of that. And yeah. Good, good batteries, just a shitty mod. So you're paying 25 bucks for the batteries and 45 bucks for a mod. Yeah. And I, it, it, I don't know. That's... I don't know, it just seems I would rather they fucking charge a hundred and ten and you end up with like a decent mod. And I mean it is it is iJoy. iJoy, I, I have never heard of them coming out with like a groundbreaking dope ass mod for cheap. Like iJoy is iJoy, they're freaking they are what they are. But I don't know, it's I don't know. I'm just not on board with this one, dude. Same thing with that RDTA box. Yeah. So just not so- on board with these. How about how about we look at it this way? If you're if we we're in the market for this and it was only fifty dollars, uh, we'll say sixty dollars with the batteries, and you were looking to run at uh, only like seventy or eighty watts. Do you still think it would be worth it for a beginner vapor to buy? Nope, 
Not with that. Not with that arcing issue. Too many safety issues. Nope. Right. Not with that arcing problem. If it didn't have the arcing problem all day, I'd be like, dude, get it, enjoy it. But with that arcing problem, dude, that is like the biggest nail in the coffin, dude. That is the biggest nail in the coffin. Is that arcing problem? If it didn't have that, I would be a lot more on board with it. But that right there completely kills any hope of this of this mod being like a daily run for me. Yeah. Like that I, does it. I do, however, think that I don't know. I'm not having as many issues as you are with yours. I haven't noticed any arcing. <laughs> Holy shit, I got a ton of juice down there. Okay, so um yeah, that's fantastic. Shit. You, you're putting a dripper on there, right? Yeah. So well, we all know how like you this... are with your dripping. Ah, fuck you. So we have this little I just lip calls here. it like I sees it. I know. We got this little lip here on the edge, and that's supposed to stop juice from going into there. And it did not whatsoever. I got a fuck ton of juice in there. I don't over drip that bad. Come on. Listen. But you when know you... how this. You know how tsunamis and you know you know how Kennedys are. They have that bottom airflow and they just fucking leak if you overdrip like I do. Well, the problem, dude, is that lip. Uh, at least on mine, that lip is below the um the this the aluminum stainless whatever that is that ring on the five ten. My lip yeah. is shorter than that. Mine's flush. So Mine's... it's so I'm making contact with that silver aluminum ring. And then there's a gap between the bottom of the tank. Yeah, no, mine is mine is not. Mine, mine is. is clearly past that lip. Yeah. That mine, lip is like a C hair above the top of the box, and then the five ten, the negative on the five ten, is like another C hair above that. Yeah, mine, mine is definitely um, flush. So. It should it should realistically though to stop leaking it, it. They really there'd be no way to well they could they should make that five ten. The, the negative side should be spring loaded and it should be sitting like almost above that lip a little bit. So when you tighten it down, you're making good contact. Um, and then your tank kind of seats on that ring is what it, yes. it should be. Realistically. I don't, or I don't they know. should have that lip on there and then a slight indent, like a crater and then another lip. So it can kind of just sit in there and pool. I, I I wouldn't even mind if that lip was like a, a colored O-ring that sat in a channel. It would look a little yeah. janky with the tank off or with the RDA off or whatever you got on there. It would look a little bit janky, but at least once the tank goes on there, you're not going to see it, and it's going to actually have like a full rubber seal. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I am I really did enjoy this mod at first. Uh, I, was, I was even enjoying it a couple days ago, but I seen your arc marks, and... I'm getting tired of the ramp up time. Like, okay, so look at this thing. I've been talking about this. I, I'm putting out a review on it today. It's that A liter. Yeah. This thing, it's 105 watts, same wattage, and it fires fucking instantly. Yeah. And this it thing's should. got. Hang on a second. It's off. But yeah, it's got. It's 55 bucks, and the, there's zero ramp up time, and this thing's got a second and a half. Well, that thing's probably putting out the voltage that. And then the other thing that I noticed, and this was something else I wanted to talk about and I forgot, it's got, you know, the standard normal soft and hard mode. That's supposed to crank up the voltage. On this mod, going from normal to hard mode does nothing. It does not change the hit at all. Like, whatsoever. Like, if I put it in hard mode, it's at, you know, let's say it's at 4.97 volts. I put it on hard mode, it's still 4.97 volts. It doesn't change a goddamn thing. And the voltage is actually, like, you know, I would think that even, even regulated, this thing would be willing to crank out, like, probably cutting off safely at, like, 6 volts. Something like that. 6.5 volts, even. And I have not seen this thing go over 5 volts. And that's part, I think, of the problem, you know, putting a, a coil on there, you know, that requires, you know, 160, 170 watts or whatever, and it's getting no voltage to it. That's going to fuck up, you know, the ramp up time on it. At least with these T12s having fucking 12 coils in there, you know, um, like I, I need you, the voltage. Do you, have you gotten any um, too high a voltage warnings on there where it just will not fire your device? 
because um, your voltage are apparently too high. I have, can't say that I have. Well, I had my older coil that I had in my TFE twelve. I put it on there, and it like it was reading it at a point one one, and I tried cranking the bitch up to two hundred and two hundred watts, I think, or something like that, and it would not fire it. Well, here's it, it here's would not fire it. here's the thing, dude. I we've I know we've talked about this before, but I think a lot of mods hate these T twelve or TFV twelve coils. Like, that tank in specific, like the TFV-8 Cloud Beast and the other TFV-8s and the Big Baby Beast and all that, they're fine. But for some reason, these TFV-12 tanks, a lot of mods fucking hate them. Like, my RX-300 had issues. Like, anything, any mod that's not smock hates those tanks. Like, I don't know if there's just something that's up with those tanks where the power consumption is, like, really sporadic or something or what, but, like, every mod I put those TFV-12s on, I've had issues with. Now, it's the same tank, so maybe my tank is faulty or something, but the only mod that I that I own that will successfully fire that tank nonstop is my GX350, and now that's freaking dead. So, I realistically have no way to run this tank. When did you... When did your GX die on you? Uh, what was that, like, a couple weeks ago? Okay. Give or take. <laughs> well, we have we haven't been in contact with each other a whole lot in the past couple weeks, but the uh, the um, battery door fucking bent, and now the batteries don't make contact. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we talked about it. I know we did. So, um, roundabout. Let's. I think we're done talking about the eye joy. I mean, we've ranted. We picked pretty much. Oh, I'm gonna pick one more thing apart. These little carbon fiber fucking panels. Shit stickers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I got mine, mine was peeling off already, and I had to, like, lay it back down myself. Just yeah, so there's, I don't, way. there's all these, like, uh, on mine, there's all these weird little, like, there's all these weird little threads that are sticking out of it, which I think it's, like, it's actual fiber. It's just not carbon fiber. I think it's like an actual weaved pattern sticker. Like I think there's actually threads in there. It's not just like a it's, it's like a rubber. like a three D sticker, but yeah. there's actual threads in there because there's all these like nylon little shits poking out all over the place on this thing. And I and like there was one at the top. I think on the non button side, and I grabbed it and I peeled it. And the whole thread came out, and the whole top of the sticker, like, separated from itself. And now the whole rest of the sticker is starting to separate from itself. Yeah, I think I think this is, uh... It, it honestly, if it didn't look like carbon fiber, and you scratched it with your fingernail, it feels like the bottom of a mouse pad. I'm peeling mine off right now. Just out of sheer... Yeah, so... Yeah, so yeah, it's it's got actual, um... Uh, there's like actual threading in there, and then they like under or overcoat it with rubber. I'm trying to get a good chunk off where you can actually see the threading, cause it's there. It's just like it's it's actually it's honestly not a half bad attempt at fake carbon fiber. Um, I'll give them that, but like they might as well have just gone full cheap, and just done there we go, and just done like so. This is the shit. It's just, like, rubbery as fuck. But then you can see there's, like, actual, like, white threading on there. I know you can't see it because my camera sucks the D, but there's actual oh, threads yeah. on there. Like, the white, that's actual, like, cotton thread. So that's actually, like, they actually at least, they pro you know, dude, they probably spent more money on these faux-ass carbon fiber stickers than they did on the mod. I, I think on the mod, um... Everything about it is durable, but they definitely cheaped out on the chip. I don't think it, it doesn't feel durable. I feel like I could drop this thing on my carpet and it'll fucking break into a million pieces. The button feels shitty. I don't know. I just hate this mod, dude. I hate this fucking mod. I have yeah. nothing nice to say about it. Honestly, I like I have nothing nice to say about this mod. Like period. Uh, I think story. the frame is good. the The frame is made out of uh, made out of aluminum alloy, but that button is plastic, and I think that battery door is plastic. So, I mean, they, no, if the they wanted to the, make this what it is, they should have spent, like, I, I'd be happy to pay a hundred bucks for this fucking thing if the screens didn't scratch up, the chip was better. Like, can you imagine this thing with a fucking, um, God, what's that good chip? 
If they did, if, like, a DNA version? Yeah, if they did a DNA version of this, I think it'd be a fucking dope mod. Yeah, I, if, I think if, if they put in the mod. effort. But they're not gonna, though, because they're iJoy. iJoy doesn't do anything nice. iJoy is... And I think that's part of the problem, is that we're we're not really into, like, the cheapo mod thing. Um, I think it's fair, though, for people that are... See, this thing actually looks a lot better without the stickers. Like, I'm peeling the whole sticker off right now, and this thing looks a lot better without the fucking sticker. Like, if yours if yours is a rainbow all the way behind these stickers, take those stickers off, dude. Dead ass. Take those stickers off. If the whole box is fucking rainbow, take those fuckers off. Like, you can see it's just, like... It's just straight whatever color behind there. If they, no, if, uh, if they rainbowed up... all the way through. It doesn't? I don't think so. I don't, I'm not willing to rip it all the way off. I fucking would. Fuck that shit. Fuck this stupid carbon fiber. Yeah, this is like a band-aid. This is like literally a band-aid that they put on here. It's like a carbon fiber band-aid. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 3M. Which is 3M, fine. Like, that 3M is sticker. what it is. But, I don't know. I'm telling you, they spent more money on these carbon fiber stickers than they did on anything else on the mod. Yeah. They're, they're kind of a bitch to get off, though. Like, the edges peel really easy, but the rest is stuck on there, like, super duper well. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I got nothing nice to say about this mod. That's my final verdict. I wish I did, being that it's a, you know, a 2700 mod, and it's going to, people are really going to look at it and be like, oh, man, I really, really want to get one of these. But I, I think... I think they caught the market at the right time. 2700s are like a brand new thing. Uh, they released like one of the first like readily available 2700 mods, and I think they caught the market at the right time. But uh, I can't recommend anybody buys this. And I even ran it with the 18650s for a while, and the thing still hit the exact same. I still had these battery life issues, which that I thought was odd. That the 18650s lasted the exact same amount of time as the 2700s. That is quite odd. Like, I thought that was very bizarre. Because these are how many mod these batteries? There's 3,000, I think. Um, yeah, 3,000 mod. So these things should be lasting a, and that's, a spell that's... longer than, like, my 25 hours. Well, no, they shouldn't be. Because what are your 25 hours again? How many? How many... 20... 26 or 25? 25 or something like that. Yeah. Mine don't have stickers, so I don't really know. I can't remember what they are. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's only five five hundred more ma. I mean, I I don't know. I think it just cancels each other out because it does. You can draw more amps and more volts from it. Yeah, but if it's out. no, it's gonna pull the same voltage. The same voltage. They just have more amperage behind them. It should. They if anything, the twenty five Rs um, should lose battery life if they're const if they're pulling the same forty amps. Yeah, I, they I, they I shouldn't suppose. last as long as the twenty sevens. They should they should die not a lot quicker, but a little bit quicker than twenty seven hundreds. I don't know. I just I, I don't know. I I just I have a lot of weird issues with this mod in general. How it works, like why it does what it does, why it hits like a little bitch. Although it's got these tank of a battery in it, I I, I don't know. I just don't get it. Yeah, it's I think it's all just falls down onto their cheap ass chip that's in there. It's it's so. embarrassing, but no, I my final 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 verdict. I do not recommend this mod, no matter what you're going for. Just buy the fucking batteries on their own. Just go spend like twenty bucks and get a couple of these batteries. I I wouldn't even bother with this mod. Yeah. Just for safety purposes, not for like oh it hits like a little bitch, but just for safety purposes, I would not recommend it at all, ever. But at least I got twenty seven hundred batteries now, so that's cool. I can agree. I mean, honestly, at this point, what do we end up with? We end up with a, a quarter of a mod practically, but we end up with some good batteries for $70. So, <laughs> you know, so yeah, I don't, I don't recommend it either to any beginners. Just wait for the next big thing. Next big 2700 mod. Yeah. Which those are going to be, those are like flooding the market as we speak. There's all sorts of companies coming out with them. I know. Really, I'm, I'm really shocked that Smock hasn't come out with something already. Like I'm really, really shocked by that. I think they're waiting to jump on that twenty-one seven hundred train. I yeah, but that's waiting. that's still like, that's that's still up in the air though. Twenty-seven hundreds are out. Smock is so on top of everything. Like they have a new mod coming out every fucking month. Like, yeah, well, that's the problem. They're just redoing. They're coming out with version twos of everything. 
Like, they had that alien, and now they came out with a pro color, and it looks identical to the fucking alien other than the screen. Like, it's not, it's not like a slanted square. It's right, like but a, that's, a that's shield. my point, though. That's my point, yeah. is that the, the company that releases freaking 15, 20 mods a year, they haven't released one for 2700s yet. Like, they haven't mm. jumped on that bandwagon. I just find that really bizarre. I'd buy that. I feel like Smock would, would, you know, they're, they're a cheaper company, but they at least, like, you know, they at least try a little bit. Like, I, I, I have not been happy with their newer mods, but they at least try a little bit. Like, they put a little bit of effort in. I, I hear that. Give a shit. I, I heard that T Priv was pretty badass. I heard that T Priv. I've heard it was as well. Good. I used one. Uh, I used one up at the Bean Town event. This this guy went up there with owned like, he he owns like four of them. He owns like four of them huh. with the with the freaking um, the Cleto one twenty tank, that round glass one. He owns like four of the T Privs, and he brought like all four of them with him. He's got like four mods with. He's got four identical setups. Four T pribs, just different colors, with four of the Cletos, and he's just got different flavors in each tank. Now I'm like, damn, you should really get into dripping and just carry a bag of wicks around with you if you really like are into like keeping your flavors like, you know, food can't touch, flavors can't touch, you know? And and I used one there. It seemed it basically seemed like um like a super like durable I don't know, I basically like a super durable alien. Is what it seems well, yeah, like. Yeah, that's the problem. Is that it's just another alien. Yeah, it's just really, got cool with LEDs a different on look. It. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing they could have done, they took they, that T priv is bigger than the alien. They could have fucking a made lot that bigger. One the, yeah, they could have made that one the twenty seven hundred. There's plenty of space. In oh there yeah. Oh dude, it's it's ship. it's bigger than the captain. It's like the size of a. It's almost it's almost the size of uh like an RX three hundred. No. It's, it's huge, the no, dude. Dude, when you hold it in your hand, it's fucking huge, dude. When oh, you when oh. you take the batteries well, out, there is like literally like a, a half inch of just metal surrounding the batteries. Like, dude, the mod is huge. It's a well, brick. That stands my point. They they could have put the twenty seven hundreds in there, gave you some eighteen six fifty sleeves. And call it a day just to keep up on that train with the 2700s. I don't know why they haven't. I really don't know why they're so hesitant unless it's like they can't get the 2700 batteries and they don't want to market them to work with iJoy batteries. And they're like, nah, fuck the competition, dude. We got to get our own batteries. Because, like, that's really all that's, like, totally available in, like, the 40 amp flavor to vapors is, like, the iJoys. There's a couple others, but they're, like, 30 ampers. And I don't know if they really want to. I don't know. I don't know if they want to jump on that bandwagon without 40 amp batteries. Because I think that's I the think, point. What was the other 2700s that came out? The Sanyo or Panasonic? Uh, the Panasonics are the iJoys. There's the Sanyos, the Panasonics, the iJoys, which was Panasonics. And then there's uh, um, E-Fest has some out. Or no, is it IMR? I think IMR has some labeled ones, which I think are yeah. also Panasonics. There's a few of them out there, but it just breaks down. to They're mostly Panasonics. The 40 ampers are like all Panasonics. Yeah. But that's why I'm waiting on Tesla, dude. Tesla is going to, like, shut every company down. They're going to blow everybody out of the water. They're going to, and from what I understand, they're going to be releasing batteries that are, like, sold individually. Like, these companies don't have to buy these laptop battery packs and rip out the VTCs out of them or whatever and sell them to us. They're going to release, like, banging-ass 30-amp 18650s, and we can just buy them as is and do with them what we please. And Tesla yeah. makes the best batteries out there, so I'm waiting on that, dude. That should be coming in the next like year or two. Yeah, I'm stoked on that too. Tesla puts out some good stuff. I got one Tesla mod. Once they gave it away. No, no, like the car company Tesla. Oh. Like the oh. big Tesla, like the big gotcha. Tesla brand. Like they're they're coming out, they're making a factory out when I think it's like Arizona or New Mexico or something. It's bigger than every battery plant in the world combined. It's a fucking huge facility. And they're going to make everything from, like, hearing aid batteries to, like, car batteries to everything. They're going to do everything. And from what I understand, they're just releasing them, like, as is. Like, you can just buy... You can go on their website and buy a pack of, you know, 30 amp 18650s and do with them whatever you want. Like, if you blow up, that's your fault. 
because that's yeah. why we can't get him. Is because dumbass kids. So I think they're gonna be like, look, take him. But if you blow yourself up, dude, that's on you. You are not suing us. Which is fine. Yeah. I'll yeah, use their batteries all day. Anywhere else, like imrbatteries.com, I mean, you, it, that's related to vaping. Whereas this company, Tesla, that you're talking about, is just putting out batteries that are just batteries, not particularly for vaping. Right. Well, that's why that's so. why they're not selling LGs anymore. IMR doesn't have LGs because the the cease and desist on vapors. Um, uh, 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 Lion Wholesale still has them because they just market them as batteries. Um, right. although on Facebook, they've been posting a lot about vapors. So I think LGs are going to be unavailable. So if I were you dude for that stack and shit, I would get, um, as many HP fours as you can get your hands on. Cause those are made like, those are perfect for stacks. The, the positive post like sticks out a little bit from the top. So like they contact each other. You don't need a plate or nothing. Well, I mean you do with the Kennedy cause for whatever reason they made the stack taller to accommodate. The HP fours? Yes. LG HB fours. They are they're basically uh, LG's version of like a VTC four. They're thirty amp. They're act. They're a little bit. I feel like those are those are actually true thirty amp batteries. The VTCs really aren't. They're like twenty fivers. These are true thir- uh, thirty amp batteries. The Ma's a little bit lower than a VTC four, and you notice it when you use them. Um, but those are like true true thirty amp batteries. And people um, argue about it all the time. They're like, dude, freaking VTCs are 30 amps, and they're they are, but they aren't. Like they they ish are. They're the LG H HB fours, right? Yes, they got the HB sixes, which I think are also. Uh, yeah, but 30 they only amperes. got 1500 ma. <laughs> yeah, but that's I mean, when you get a 30 amp battery, it's kind of what you know you expect. Like the VTCs don't have all that, ma. Like the HB fours are fifteen hundred, and I think the uh, the VTCs are what VTCs are like. Uh, um, oh, VTCs are three thousand. What? HB fours are fifteen hundred, ma, as well. Yeah. See that. See, this is where I don't. See, this is where I don't like this shit. I'm. I'm. I'm looking at. Uh, two VTCs right now. One is labeled at 3,000 ma, and one is labeled at 2,100. They're supposed to be 2,100. I think I think one of these pairs of VTCs I got aren't legit. Because 2,100 ma is what they should be at 30 amps. 3,000 is like 20 amps. Maybe 25. Mm-hmm. Well, um, it looks like IMR isn't carrying... The LGs. No, that's what I just said. You can't get no. LGs from IMR anymore because they put a cease and desist out on vapors. You got to get them from Lion. Mm, okay. Do you not listen to me when I talk? Uh, you you just... were ta- we were talking about IMR at the time, so I was just confused. Yeah, and then I said you can't get LGs from them anymore because of the cease and desist. Uh, LG is no longer selling batteries to vapors because uh, they're being sued by so many people for blowing themselves up with HG2s because people think it's okay to run HG2s in a mech, which they realistically are not. Um, um, I've been running H- the brownies. They're not really... you got to run like a point three on those. Those are not made for like super high drain. I don't know. Um, you know Heavy Metal Vapor? Yeah. He he runs the brownies on his point one twos. I uh, you know all I know is I've I've personally talked to Mooch about it on Facebook, asking him if he runs them, and he's like, yeah, you can run them, but I wouldn't go below like a point three. Then with oh. Mooch, he's always like mega mondo safe, and I was like, if I wanted to run like a point two, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'd say you could. He's like, I never would, but and I was like, okay. I was like, so if I'm running like a point whatever, I'm like, if I have to make it through the day on brownies with like a point one two or point one four, point one five, I usually build like a point one five. He's like, nah, bro. I don't That's know. Weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna go by whatever Mooch says. If he says to not run the brownies on a mech, I am not gonna run the brownies on a mech. Nah, I I understand. I I just I when I first got into mechs, I just ran the brownies on them all the time because uh heavy metal vapor i mean i think he's probably the most experienced mechanical mod vapor as far as youtube goes maybe mooch is a little bit more popular or better with him but well yeah mooch is like the battery guy yeah he says he's always used the brownies for his point one twos 
own Mooch, belt. Mooch is like the battery man. He's like, he's the battery guy. His is the only opinion I trust as far as batteries. Like, he's got the equipment to sit there and test these things. He's got, you know, that's his job. Yeah. That's what he does for a living. If he says, you know, one thing, I'm going to I'm gonna go by that. Yeah. If Heavy yeah, Metal I, Vapor, I like, has, if he's got the machinery to sit there and, like, actually test these batteries to, like, full strain, then I'll trust it. But if it's just, like, a personal experience thing, I'm not going by that. Yeah. What the hell um, these? Well, oh, before we get on to the Kennedy, what else are you vaping on today? Um, pretty much just that, honestly. Um, sorry, I'm like playing with batteries. I got all these batteries sitting around that I don't know what the hell they are. Um, because I rewrapped a bunch of them, forgot to label them. Um, but no, I got the Kennedy stack still. Um, now I'm actually enjoying it now that I got that broadside plate, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, did you polish yours before this? Uh, I did like earlier this morning. Dude, look at that. <laughs> yeah. No, mine was like that this morning. Copper is really bad. Like Can you copper, see the color difference? Yeah. Not That's... really. It looks all right with the patina. Uh, I, 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 I got, I, I'll, I'll talk about that. I got a couple things about that, but nope. I got, I got, I just got the, I got the stack. Um, the high on has been sitting useless since I got the stack in yesterday, which is about time because the high on misfired a lot. I had to tear this thing apart every three days and clean it, which sucks because the 510 does not come apart easy. It's got why like the a, fuck does it misfire? Did you figure out why it actually misfired? It's just a shoddy 510 is what it is. Um, the 510 is like a super like ingenuitive 510. Um and it doesn't thoroughly make contact in its housing. Um, so you've got to, like, take it apart and completely clean it and, like, make sure everything is, like, up to snuff on the inside of that thing. All the threads have – it's it's just a really, really, really sensitive mod. Like, they're dope. They hit, like, a fucking freight train. Um, if it was a hybrid top, it would be my favorite mod. I wouldn't even give a shit about the oh. Kennedys. Um, but being a 510 top – it's a dope mod. It just is super duper, super sensitive. Um, okay. But it's it's still awesome. I still love the button. Um, and then I finally was able to get the rig apart this morning. Uh, I got that running. Been using that here and there, but single battery just ain't doing it. But that's literally I've just been vaping on the uh, the Kennedy, pretty much okay. since I got that. Um, on that rig, besides the actual rig, how's the um, RDA you have on there? What's that called? The flat jack or something? No, that's the um. <laughs> the the roughneck roughneck how's the roughneck it's uh, not for me it's uh What's the, the deck look like it's it literally looks just almost like a three post kennedy style i really wish my camera was better it's almost just like a three post kennedy except the uh the lead holes are really fucking small like you can fit like a single strand of 20 gauge and the negatives like you can run 20 gauge at the thickest and the two 20 gauge leads meeting up in the positive, it's a mondo tight fit. Like they almost don't even want to run together. So the the holes are super duper small. Um, what I do like about it is that it's literally it's like OG hybrid top. Like it's yeah. battery right to your RDA without like your RDA screwing into a another like negative post. Like this is like. The whole two, it's it's weird to describe. It's like legit hybrid, so like it hits nice, but the thing hot buttons like crazy. I think I I gotta tear it down and clean it out like super duper well. I just cleaned the contacts this well, morning. Well, I think you get hot button from arcing. You get the hot button from a lot of arcing going on. Well, I know I, I don't know. I've got zero arcing with it. It's just the thing is so dirty. Like the guy that owned it before me, like never took the button apart and cleaned it. So yeah. there's like crud in the housing like there's shit in the housing there's like dust and fucking fur and stuff in there and like i wiped <laughs> it out quick this no like dude dead ass like i'm not even trying to be like funny like i took the like the switch is a bitch to get apart i'd take the tweezers from my coil master kit and stick them in the tube and there's like these two holes you gotta line up with and you get those good and they gotta like take the switch and you gotta like crack it loose and you gotta hold the tweezers like this in the tube and keep fucking doing this shit and uh, I finally got it apart, and it was just gross. Like, on the bottom side of the housing, 
there was like actual like animal hair and like yeah. old Coca Cola like wedged up in there, and I was trying to wipe it out, and it was like not coming out because it was so like well seasoned and gross. And I was like, oh man! So I, I just wiped down the contact. Now it hits pretty good, but it's still hot buttons quite a bit. Yeah. Damn. Just bad luck. Just my bad luck with mods. That's all that it boils down to. But I think once it gets cleaned, it'll it'll be okay. But the dude needs to give me that regular hybrid top adapter for it, and then I'll probably be happy with it. I'm just going to paint it anyway and just resell it, so I don't really give a shit. All right. So I am vaping on the iJoy Mech Tube, or the Limitless, supposedly the not. Oh. Not sleeve for it. So you just cut out. Dope. You got to re-say that. You just cut out really bad. Oh. Am I good now? Uh, you are now, yeah. Okay. I'm vaping on the Limitless iJoy Mechanical Mod. I got a sleeve for it. It's pretty cool. And I have the Reload RTA sitting on top of there. 0.14. It's very nice. Dinner Lady Pudding. That's pretty amazing. I got the Connoisseur with the cheap-ass Peerless RDA, but I fucking love it. And the drip tip's amazing on it. And that hits pretty amazing. And that I got Cali Girls, which is uh, watermelon candy. I got the A Liter Funky 160 with the recoil, vaping on cream from those shitty ass grab bags. Dude, I got. just, dude, I have got. What do got, you think of the juice? I honestly, I love that juice. Like, <laughs> I, I like, dude. Here's the thing. So, like, listen, mine. Uh, where's mine? Mine's right here. So, it's. It's such like a subtle little flavor. Like it's not like an in-your-face flavor. It's it's I don't know. Mine has thinned out a lot since it's been home, but it's also been sitting for like the last two months. But like yeah. it's decently <laughs> thick juice. Like the flavor isn't bad. I I honestly, dude, I I think that this was the best thing we got out of those bags. I know it's crazy. I think they steeped. I mean, I I've just cracked mine open about like I, don't I know, still yesterday. I still have this thing out of those. I still have this thing just sitting. I haven't. I've been I've been stealing O rings out of this thing for like little random purposes here and there. <laughs> I've just been using this to steal O rings. I've yet to build on this because like yay, I'm gonna put like a single wire 26 gauge build in there. That's gonna be sick. Like I like I have had no reason to. I've got everything <laughs> from that bag just sitting. I've yeah, literally done too. nothing with it. The, oh, the mutation. I did build on the mutation, those those X fours. I did or the V fours. <laughs> I did build on that. Um, and that bottom airflow leaks like a sieve. <laughs> like you cannot drip that thing without it leaking everywhere. Worst design ever, ever. But, um, back to this cream. This cream is actually really fucking good. It's it could be an all day vape. It's not too sweet. It's not a muted flavor. It's fucking. It's it's pretty good. I pick up pineapple and some cream. I pick up pineapple and cream. That's what I get from it. It's, it's um, really – I'm honestly upset because, like, I want to buy more, but then I'm like, dude, it's, like, unavailable. Like, you can get it, but the websites that have it are, like, shady as shit. And, <laughs> exactly. like, you can tell that it's a website made by some guy who just, like, has a lot of ape shit. It's probably owned by the dude who owns Wild Bills, and he's just, like, trying to off his shit online now. <laughs> But, like, no, it's not bad. Although that dinner lady, so I didn't know we were going to talk about juices. If we were going to talk about juices, then I'd, I'd never know what the answer with the what are you vaping on today question. But I also have the dinner lady. I love this juice. I just Is hate... it pudding powder? No, uh, pudding powder. No, mine's or, just the rice pudding. Uh, rice pudding, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine's the rice pudding, yeah. And I was like, yeah. what do you mean? I was like, you got the same bottle I do. How's it a different flavor? Um... I love this juice. I hate the raspberry. I wish there was no raspberry. I hate that fucking raspberry, dude. I don't get any fucking raspberry from you it. You don't get that, like, shitty, no. sour raspberry in it? Yeah, dude. It's oh, horrible. Where is it at? Let it's me, disgusting. Hang on, hang on. Now that you said a raspberry, let me think. There's a weird flavor you get at the end. Actually, you get it throughout, but it hits really hard on the exhale. You get a weird flavor at the end that doesn't taste like rice pudding. It almost tastes like spice. Or something like really weird, like nutmeggy almost, but it's fucking raspberry. That's what that like. You've had rice pudding, I'm assuming, in your life. I mean, everybody has. This tastes like rice pudding with something else. Now, something else is shitty raspberry. Jam. It's rice pudding with jam. Yeah, and it's, it's raspberry, raspberry jam, jam, and it tastes like balls. All right. It tastes like it tastes like it tastes like some guy went to like a candy factory and found a big vat of like powdered raspberry flavor and fucking <laughs> t 
teabagged it, <laughs> and then he went over and then teabagged the the barrel of their rice pudding flavor. They fucking mixed it up, bottled it, and then they were like, "Yeah, dude, we jammed our balls in this juice." <laughs> I, I like it. I, I like the flavor. I, I really do, do too. I love the flavor. I just hate the raspberry. I hate the and, ball sack raspberry. That's all. Um, lastly, of course, is definitely going to have to be um, the Kennedy stack. And I ordered mine as a full kit. I did a build your own and then add an extension tube. And I'm thinking about it right now um, because we're going to be getting into this. But before I do that, I'm vaping on GoNana. Ew. And that's like... Ah, I know I like it because it does taste like a candy banana. I hate real banana flavor. I like it because it's candy banana. And um, I got the brass tip, <laughs> the brass deck, and it hits glorious. It does, but when that patina is, I know you were like, oh, I really want to get the copper, but that brass deck and tip mm. looks really nice separating those colors out. Yeah. No, like, I'm especially it when it patinas, way. it looks dope. But I'm, I'm going full copper. When I get my deck, I'm my deck and cap because I'm running the stainless one right now. I'm yeah. going full deck, full, full everything copper. I love copper, dude. I love the way it hits. I'm going with copper all the way. Um, um, I didn't I know, know why there's a different color variation because I hold the fucker like this. I don't touch the top tube. Yeah, that's but no, but that's darker. it doesn't no, it doesn't matter though. That it's a completely it's they use like a completely different copper. Like it's a completely different type like they're cut differently. Um I'm noticing it on mine. I noticed it last night. The surface of the extension tube is not nearly as smooth as the surface on the actual mod and switch. It's like a completely and totally different copper. And I think that over time, once you polish it a bunch, once you hold it and use it a bunch, I think that that will wear down and it'll become more smooth and the colors will balance out. But the two, the extension tubes are a completely different copper than the actual mods. And they're like, they're manufactured a little bit different. Um, like there's a lot to them that, that's, that makes them like all different colored like that. And like, you can tell, I don't know, man. They kind of just, I think that, like, I honestly, dude, I think that these extension tubes are what was supposed to turn into mods, and they didn't think the the copper was good enough, so they just cut the tops off, threaded them, and then shipped them. Because there's, okay. there's a lot of shit okay. I'm noticing about these tubes, about these extensions, that are not, like, up to Kennedy snuff. Like, there's a lot about them that does not seem right to me. And I, I think that it's, I think that's, I think it, I really do. I think they, they made a bunch of these tubes for mods and they were like, man, these, these are, these are not good. Let's just, let's just cut the tops off and fucking ship them as extension tubes. Like I really do. Like I, there's something not right about them. Like they hit really nice. Obviously they're, they're a stack, so they're going to hit nice, but there's something about them. That's just not quite Kennedy status. Um, does your copper turn blue when you try and polish it? Does it get a blue hue to it? Nope. Why the fuck does mine turn blue? What are you using for polish? Just dry. Just a polish rag. Uh, no, mine, like, has never been blue. Mine stays, like, patina-y. What are you, a Smurf? Maybe. Was, like, the oils from your fingers? No, mine, like, stays... Mine gets, like, that awesome green color when it patinas and then when i polish it it just turns back to copper oh look how blue huey that it is. looks dope as shit i fucking love that dude that's badass it's weird that it turns blue i don't know but anyways um i mean i don't know maybe it does i don't know how the fuck am i supposed to know yeah color blind i mean yours looks bluish but i don't know how the hell am i supposed to know but, but I, I, I wish I could tell you all the flavors I was vaping on, but you know me. I drip a different flavor every other time. I've got in front, yeah. just on my, dude, this is my desk. This is like my game center. This is the stream desk, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bottles of juice. And they all get used throughout the course of one stream. <laughs> dead um, ass. Dead ass. Yeah. Like, I'm not fucking kidding. I get so the only flavors. time The only time I mix... Um, flavor profiles is if the base flavor is the same. If it's like a cream with a cream and one strawberry and one's orange, then I'll do it. 
But if it's if it's like a cream base and then this one's just pure candy, I can't mix that. Oh yeah, there's it. certain flavors you don't mix, but I only do like desserty fucking flavors, so they all go good together. Like I'm not about to mix like fuck cancer with honey mellow. Like I'm not about to do that, but like <laughs> Which, I gotta tell you, man, I was, like, mad let down by this juice. Like, I support them and what they support, but, like, the juice t is just kind of, uh, kind of gross. Alright, so, we're going, gonna go on a Kennedy here. We've been, uh, streaming for, like, about 50 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, yeah, like I'll let hour. you take the reins first on this one, because you had more issues with it, and I have had nothing As always. but... I know. I have had nothing but good good things to say about it, so. Um, okay, well. So Try I've... and find some good in this. Come no, on I've got, no, I've got goods. Like, it's Kennedy. I really can't talk too much shit about Kennedy. Um, their customer service tends to leave something to be desired. Um, but so far, uh, they did give me a phone number to call them. Anyway, I've had the roundhouse for what? Um, like, two months now? Something like that. I bought the roundhouse like You got it a month before you came here and you've been you left here a month ago, so yeah, two months. Yeah, I've been I left there longer than a month ago. It's been like because I I came out there in what? In like June or something? Yeah, June seventeenth. Yeah, so June, July yeah, so it's been like almost two months. Okay. Um You're right. So yeah, I've had this mod for about three months now. Um I I honestly um, oh my god. I honestly, I, I love the roundhouse as a mod. I love how simple it is. I'm going to break mine down here. Um, I love how absolutely simple this mod is. I think they did a superb job um, on making this like a super user-friendly mod. Um, okay, there we go. Um, I think that they, they really did. I love that switch. I think the switch is so simple. It's so easy to use. It's so easy to tear down and clean. Um, you know, it's all self-adjusting. Depending on what RDA you have, you may or may not experience a bunch of rattle. Um, but you it's... definitely have to have a pin that protrudes more than two millimeters. Yeah, you definitely or need at like least two. It's weird. Like my OG goon rattles like an absolute bitch. Like no matter what I do, that thing rattles so bad. Um, but like the goon 1.5 is totally legit. It's totally fine. And the five tens are like almost the same size. The, the pin is almost the same length, which is fucking weird. It's, there's like, there's like a quarter of a millimeter threshold of where you gain a ton of obnoxious rattle and a bunch of throw and where it's, it's completely fine. But I, I love the mod. It's so simple, you know, nice hybrid top, super easy to use. Um, let me try to get this RDA off the, the actual machining of the mod is super good it's got um oh come on don't fall over on me you know the actual roundhouse look i dude i gotta i'm gonna invest in a better camera but the actual machining <laughs> like the actual engravings up top is super nice super legit super clean uh they're all serialized which is always nice um so i've been loving it my only downside that i've noticed is that when you get them and i think that's again with the extension tubes when you get them there's like a bunch of uh, vertical milling lines the whole way down where they where they try to shave them, and those take a long time to go away. Like my actual mod is super smooth, super shiny, and then the extension tube is shiny but it's dull because there's it's, all those vertical yeah. milling lines and they go away once you like. If you sat there with a buffer and you polished the shit out of the extension tube, I'll guarantee it would be 100% better. But, like, I'm not going to do that. It's, I'm just going to let it do it over time. Um, but so I was – I've been suitless because I, I love this mod. I've tried a ton. I've owned, like – since I bought this, I've probably owned and traded, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 mechs. And every one of them I hated because the roundhouse set the bar so high. Like it really did. It's such it hits so hard, and it's so simple. There's no adjustment. There's no bullshit. It's just a straightforward, hard hitting mod. And I was so excited to get these extension tubes. Waited, 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 waited for them to come out. They teased them on Instagram, and then they never talked about them again for like two months. And then they finally said they were gonna release them. They never came out. Kept us in the dark about the real release date. Then they finally came out. Finally got it. Put my batteries in it use the magnets the thing rattled like a bitch like i mean 
like horrible and the switch had a ton of throw in it like an unbelievable amount of throw and so i was pissed i was livid um i use my own personal magnets they're about the size of just the center hole of the kennedy magnets they send you these big wide washer style magnets that i fucking hate um and I use like regular tiny button magnets because I don't want them touching the wall on my mod for some reason or something weird to happen. Um, I don't even know where the magnet that they give you with the Kennedy is. Oh, there it is. Um, but so I I was pissed because like I finally got mine and you know, he'll tell you I was mega mega excited about getting this freaking this mod. Like he I've been way waiting. More excited than I was. Like I've been waiting for this thing for so long. And I finally get it, and the thing is just hitting like absolute dog shit, and Garbage. I was pissed. Um, so what I was able to do, because when I got my high on stack, I was having a bunch of misfire issues and stuff like that. So I was given three options: either get the um, LG HB series batteries, where the positive pin sticks out a lot. I wish you could see it, but I promise that that positive pin is sat like almost I'd i can say see it better far away it's probably like a half a millimeter above the negative or above the uh the top side of the battery so your two batteries when they touch in the tube they are going to make contact 100 percent. but with vtcs since they're like completely flat top they might not always so i was told to get either hbs get a set of magnets or get one of these which is the broadside stack section connector which is just basically a metal plate with a plastic ring around it i bought all three and i noticed that to remedy the issue with the kennedy is to put this broadside piece in there and it's perfect it works with absolutely the magnet dope. Just that. without the magnet nope just with the stack piece and it works dope um i'm actually just for shits and giggles right now i'm going to use their magnet with some vtcs to see how that is but i'm not going to use this magnet like i'm not using a magnet that's like the same width of a battery almost like i just don't trust that so you're not going to use theirs that they provided no i am not i'm going to use my broadside i'm going to get a couple more of those broadside things um they're 12 dollars for those by the way yeah they're expensive like they're they're definitely fucking expensive but i like them because they've got they've got the plastic on the outside so even if the thing unseats itself and it touches the wall, it's not going to short, it's not going to do anything weird, and it's still going to make contact. Um, they're, nice, they're like the perfect thickness for a stack. That's what they're made for. These magnets we have, these aren't made to go in a mech stack. They're not made for that. Um, so I, I trust that more than anything. I just, I'm just i going to order a couple more just so I don't freaking lose it because I know I will. Like I know for a fact that I'll lose the goddamn thing. Um, but, yeah, that's that's... You know, so I, initially out of the gate, I was super, super unhappy with it. But now you that I let, let down, yeah, I was like really, really sad. And then now that I figured it out and I've I've made it work, um, I'm liking it a lot more. But I still have to say though that when it comes to Kennedy, I expect their products to be like top shelf. When you're paying a hundred and twenty dollars for a mod you're paying a hundred dollars alone for one of their RDAs and then you're paying another fifty dollars for a stack section you know when you get shipping and everything you're kissing almost three hundred dollars how much was your purchase if I can ask 263 and that was did you use a coupon code or no no okay so two hundred and sixty dollars uh, for a mod and then in his case he was fine I'm, I'm it looks like the Kennedy that I have the RDA I have the pin is not quite as long as it should be, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to go buy another one this week, a copper one. If i got to order one, I will. Um, it's probably just an older style. I mean, Well, that's uh, that's why I worry about is that if I go to the shop and get one, that it's going to be another old one that's been sitting there. I might just order one off their website. Um, no, then, their shipping's not that bad. It was three days for you. Yeah, I ordered it Wednesday morning, and it was here on Saturday. But, dude, but that's the thing. I hate waiting. Like, I had anxiety from <clears throat> Wednesday to Saturday. Like, I really, truly hate waiting for shit. Like, I really do. I really, really hate waiting for shit. Well, look, do you have yours apart? Yes. Can I see your pin on your Kennedy uh, RDA? Yes. 
Let me just get this magnet. Yeah, see, I hate these magnets. I, I don't like these. I don't know why you like these. Um, That's the only one I got. <laughs> I know. Well, you got yours should be there tomorrow. I sent you a bunch of them, Ike. You're not going to see that, dude. You're not going to see it. Go back a little bit and turn it toward me. The... Okay, see, that I think that's how you know it's going to be old. Is because check out mine. Yeah, well, yeah, but that's how the twenty fives are. The twenty fives have a hex head five ten. Oh, that's how okay. they are. The twenty five two post mine had that too. Okay, that's the difference. So look how far that bitch sticks out. Yeah, Hang we've on. we've got like completely different RDAs. Yeah, but see, mine isn't that much shorter. Like it's really not. It's a little bit shorter, but it's it's not. It shouldn't be enough to cause that much throw. Well, then I wonder if it's in this threading. Look at my threading on mine. Yeah. Is yours about that same length? Like, yeah, mine. Is your threads the same length? Yeah, mine. It's like the exact same. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't know. It's literally um, though. It's it's so messed up because like a quarter of a millimeter adds up to like an insane amount of rattle. I'm not even going to test this with these VTCs. I, I don't trust this magnet, period. Um, but like a, a quarter of a millimeter adds up to an insane amount of throw and uh, an insane amount of, of battery rattle and all sorts of shit. Like such a small amount adds up to so much, which that comes with the territory of stacks. Um, like that's just what happens with stacks. But it, it, it's just, it's kind of one of, I don't know. It's just one what of those they deals. What do you do? With this, um, well, I'll, I'll I'll start with mine now. Um, but I do so love it though. Now that I've got it working, I will say I do I, I do love it. It's it's. Yeah. But we we can talk about the other stuff in a minute. Sorry. Yeah, he he went through a ton of stuff with his just to get it working properly. So he bought, you know, a, a set of magnets. How much did you buy those like hundred magnets for? Fifteen bucks. So fifteen bucks on those. He spent twelve bucks on the round the. The broadside insulator. Uh, so he he spent a lot of money just to get his up and running. And me, I ordered mine as a set. I, I I did a build your own, and then I added the tube. See now, look, I got the VTCs in there right now. Is that I, up and up and down or side to side? Both. I have I've got a ton of it. Huh. And okay. that's what the VTC four is with the HB fours. It's tight. It's mint. But I I think, dude, I don't want to like. Hang on, did, are those rewrap batteries? No. Those are original casings. Yes. Okay. Now I, I do say, though. If you, I, bought, if you bought wraps for it and rewrapped it, sometimes the wraps are thinner. Here's here's a problem that I noticed that I had the other day. Um, I have some batteries that are mislabeled, and I think they are old throwaway batteries that were rewrapped. I've got to talk to the local shop about it. Um, because I bought a set of VTC fours from the shop. They came in a box that said VTC four. When I went to rewrap them, the print on us is VTC five. Oh. So I, I think that the pins are a little bit different across all of them. Um, and, um, I, I think that I've got to start buying my batteries online. So like, I'm going to try out a completely different set of VTCs right now. Ooh, Jesus. And see if I have a, See if I have the same amount of rattle. And I'll use the HBs. That's what I've been using. I don't mind. I actually really like those batteries. Um, but, like, I really, really like uh, VTCs. You know what I mean? VTCs are, like, the most trustworthy batteries on the market. Um, but let's see. This is a totally different set of VTCs. And these are going to be good. These, completely good. So hmm. some of my VTCs are fine. Some of them are not. And I find that super weird. And now, let me actually, just for shits and giggles... Let me try to put this all together again, but with the other batteries. Not that it would make a difference, but I'm curious if the the way that you, if you like put the RDA on first or whatever, for some reason, because I noticed- Well, you're my... always supposed to put your RDA on first. Right, but I'm just, for sheer curiosity, because I know that my high on, if I did certain things in a certain order and it wasn't correct, um, it wouldn't quite go together right. Okay. Yeah, see, this one looks like this is going to still rattle like crazy. Yeah. 
Hear it? Yep. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so it's 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 just it's it's my problem with stacks, and I mean, you know how much I love like a really hot vape. Um, my problem with stacks is that they give you an incredibly nice vape, but they are extremely sensitive. So okay, so do this for me. If you have another set of batteries, not to fire with, but another set of batteries to test, you'll see if you take like a set of HG2s, a set of 25Rs, and a set of VTCs, put them together, you'll notice that with the HGs, your threads on the button start getting a bit tighter as you get to the end, and it's like a tighter fit, and it's, it feels really solid. Your 25Rs might rattle like crazy, and then your VTCs might be like perfectly in the middle. Like, your batteries make a humongous difference as to how your stack works. Like, with ra especially with stuff like this, um, like extension tubes, you're going to notice that it makes a humongous difference of which mm. batteries you're using. Because not all batteries, like, it, it just because it's an 18650, you know, Panasonic's might be 18.1. Sony's might be 17.9. They're not exactly 18 millimeters wide. They're not exactly... 65 millimeters tall like they're not spot on some are different than others like my hbs uh are just ever so slightly taller than my vtcs and that's enough to make them fit absolutely perfect okay how's your seam on yours where the two extension tube connects into your original How, tube? how's how's my seam on how's your seam on <laughs> it's uh it's, it's good thank you for asking <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this is inappropriate josh um so my semen is uh not particularly great i know you said it. so on the battery side or on the button side where the button see i want to be one of those cool guys who's like yeah watch my camera autofocus and it's like it's like no i'm just gonna stay shitty so the <laughs> se <laughs> the seam it, this is not like a nice camera. This is like I can I see yours focusing. This is like I bought this yeah. as staples off of like the guy who was like, "Yo, this camera is for the cheap," and I was like, "Yo, I'm on it." Um, so that's my scene. That's your seam on, yeah. Yeah. I, I can see your seam on right there. Okay. So this the seam on my um I can't even like <laughs> say it anymore. So this the seam between the switch and the extension tube. Um, like the dude, look at what I'm doing with my pinky, dude. Like this, I, I like that's so creepy, dude. Like the pinky is so creepy. Um, so this the seam between the button and the extension tube, it it looks nice from a distance, but then if I, you're not gonna be able to see it, but if I go up against it with my fingernail right here, there's it's overlapping. Oh, you get a mondo lip there. Yeah, you can you see it? Yeah, it's bad. But then you start to spin it, and it starts to smooth out a little bit, and then it like right there, it's good. But that's it. The rest of it is absolutely atrocious. Now I don't know if I can completely account. Now a lot of that is from where the dumb bitch that I work with dropped this thing. Um, but like halfway around is completely flush, completely mint, and the other half, and it's not even necessarily the half where the dumb bitch dented it. But the other half is completely fucked, and then the seam where the two ex where the extension meets the original mod housing is terrible. It's it's really not good. Um, now what I find odd. So if you look, you can see that there's oh my god, dude, I have like no good way to do this. You can see that there's clearly a lip. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take your mod apart. I okay? just had it apart. I just got it back. Well, together. take it apart again. This Hang is, on. This is an experiment. I'm testing out this experiment. What experiment? Different batteries. Oh, word. Yeah, get get try that out. Nothing. On which batteries? Uh, brownies. Okay, which is expected. And then, uh, what were what'd you have in there before? VTC fours. Okay. Uh, you could try Samsungs if you want, but like I'm just saying, they're that your batteries they're gonna make a humongous difference. Like the Samsungs, I think are about the same as VTCs. I don't have Sam I don't have the Samsungs 25 R's. Oh my god! I was gonna pick up a set of them, but the guy's like, "Well, I got one, and we'll get more in next week, and I, you could buy another one." I'm like, "Yeah, that's safe." What from a shop? 
Yeah. Uh, see, I'm not buying batteries that I intend to put on mechs from shops anymore. Like, you know that there <laughs> well, that's is... That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yo, check your 25Rs, dude. Before you run... If you, buy, if you buy them from a shop, check them. There is a humongous wave of fake 25Rs going out, and they're actually, like, 8-amp batteries. That's what you were telling me. So watch them. Um, but so take your take your stack apart, and remember the seam between oh. your extension tube and your mod. Remember how horrible that seam is. And then oh shocker, Josh over dripped. No, I didn't over drip. I was turning my shit sideways. Leave me alone. Yeah, and there was like a gallon of juice in there. Um, and then take, and then take. <laughs> There's um, more on my desk yet. Too. And, <laughs> and so take your extension tube off. And then okay, uh, run it as a single battery mod, I'm and you'll you'll see that the seam between the mod and the switch is actually pretty nice. It should be like mine was basically seamless until that girl dropped it, and then now it's fucked up. But the seam with the extension tube and the mod is so much more predominant than the seam between the switch and the extension tube. See, the switch in my extension tube is like flawless. That's what I'm saying. But then, the, but I'm saying the seam between the mod and the extension is horrible. Oh yeah, that is, that is horrible. But then, That's if you point. put the switch up against the mod, like run a single battery, it's almost seamless. So I don't understand why, if the, if if the like I don't understand why that one seam is so bad. Like if the switch on the single battery tube is seamless, and the switch on the bottom of the extension is seamless, why is the bottom of the mod and the top of the stack horrible? Yeah. In single, it's even better. That's what That's I'm weird. saying. So why why couldn't they make that one seam right? What's going on with that top piece? So what's going on with it is that it's thicker here, and then it goes down like that. What do you mean it goes down? Well, in the center here, there's there's on mine there's clearly a seam. When I put it in duals, when I put it in stack, right? I have a lip there. I can grab my nail onto. Right. That's what I'm saying. And it shouldn't be like when that. When I put this on there. The, the button onto the extension, I have just as good a oh, seam you're saying, on that. Oh, you're saying it tapers. Yeah, ever yeah, so slightly. I have just as good a seam on this extension that seam I do on, on the single. It, it tapers ever <laughs> so slightly is what you're thinking. Yes. And so talking about this um, non-milled correctly shit, so you can see on my camera, this hole is hollow. If I turn it around... Uh, why are you not focusing now, you son of a bitch? Can you see that in there? Yeah. That's, that's threading. Right. Because yeah. the, the, the vent holes are in the threads. Correct. What are you saying? Yeah. They didn't drill the hole deep enough? No, they off-centered it. Like, you can see the thread. In, like, the hole. Okay, so you got a hole. So we got two holes. One hole's like this, and one hole's like this. They're just they're just not like this. They're like this. Oh right, because they don't they don't the they don't fire. I don't think they fire a drill all the way through. I think they do them one at a time. And yeah. I'm sure that it skipped. But that's again though. That's part of. And this is like super. If anybody watches this, this is just us being insanely picky. Yeah. Like they do look really good. Um, so long as you have a set of batteries that work with the magnet they give you, or yeah. you end up getting that broadside piece, whatever. Um, they work phenomenal. This is just us nitpicking like what we expect. But I, I personally, when it comes to and the, the only downside of that broadside plate is there is like some like darkening on it from arcing here and there. Um, but anyway, what I expect from Kennedy as a, a as a brand is basically perfection. But they do it to themselves. You know, they they market themselves as you know full on like custom made you know american made perfectly cnc perfectly milled chunks of metal and then you know they give and i mean they should be using the same threading for all of their mods so there's there should wow that's like really tight so there should be like no reason that um the that the that the um that the air holes are completely unaligned 
Yeah. Like, there should be no reason for that. And granted, that's something really small, something really stupid, really, really nitpicky. But, it, you know, if you go and you look on Instagram and you look at Steve Kennedy's, his air holes are fucking perfect. Like, the one that he has is a perfect tube. It's a perfect, perfect, perfect mod. And granted, he probably made one mod out of one big block of brass and had them fucking uh, milled out all in a line and then he cut it in half. Yeah. Which I, I wouldn't expect to be perfect when you screw it together. You know, it, they can't make it perfect, but mine are like completely uneven. Like the, the spacing between the air holes is completely uneven, which is just nitpicking. Like it is what it is. It's still it's still a nice setup. It's just a lot of people, I guarantee, are going to run to a problem like me where the batteries they have are making the thing rattle like a bitch. And I, I honestly was expecting Kennedy to release these mods with something more like the broadside stack plate that they made themselves. I was expecting that. I wasn't expecting them to just put a shitty O-ring or a washer-style magnet in the bag and shipping it. I was expecting something nicer out of Kennedy. Can you do me an experiment? Not to fire. Can you just try their magnet? Because I have my the washer style they sent you. I'm you not. I'm like not it? using that, dude. I'm not using that. That's way too close to the edge of the battery. I'm good. I'm not even gonna put that in my mod. That's way too big, dude. That's like the dude. That's like the width of the fucking battery. I'm good. Because it's gonna be my luck that I'm gonna put that thing in there, <laughs> and then my screen is gonna turn gray and fiery, and you're gonna fucking have my face all half melted off over a fucking stupid magnet. And like mine doesn't do what yours does. Mine doesn't like cusp over the fucking positive side and lock there. Mine like sits all off kilter. Mine does not sit perfectly on my post. Oh, see, what the hell? I don't I don't know them because like mine. If I put it on there, like I can definitely tell it's crooked, but if I move it just a little bit, it, it fits on there and it will not wiggle around unless yeah, I put mine some force it. behind it. Nope, I, mine does not. I don't know. But that but, this is all this is this is all problems though with stacks. Like this isn't just Kennedy. I can't say yeah, this is like no. like the stuff with the air holes and the poor milling, that's on them. But like this other stuff with the magnets, that's just part of adding stack extensions like um like the high on. This thing has zero rattle ever. Granted, that's because of the way they do their 510 and stuff like that. But this thing will never, ever rattle, ever. If this mod didn't have the firing issues that I had, I would not have even cared about the Kennedy. Like, I would honestly sand this thing down and polish it up and run it as just a stainless mod. Um, but it's got all these firing issues that I, it's annoying. Like, I'll be sitting there and I'll, I'll take a puff and then I've got to... I'll go to take another puff and it doesn't it doesn't fucking it doesn't fire. So I gotta take the top hat off with the RDA attached. I gotta unscrew it. Okay, and then I gotta put it back down. Right? And then I hit it again and it doesn't fire. So I take it back off again. Now watch what I'm doing, Josh. Now this is like this is why I'm annoyed by it. I take it off with the RDA on it. Put it back on. Okay? It doesn't fire, and I'm like, what the fuck? So then I flip it and I take the button off, which this is like the nicest button I've ever seen. Like full Ultim riser, like full nice. oxygen free copper button, Ultim actual button. So there will never be a hot button. So then I take the button off, kind of push my batteries a little bit to make sure they're springing on the 510. I put the button back on, go to fire it, does it fire. So then I start getting fucking irritated like really pissed off I take the top hat off again okay and I give it a little wiggy diggy <laughs> and then I put it back on and then oh it's good but having to do that every 10 15 hits is fucking annoying like dude that gets obnoxious real quick like that gets real obnoxious real quick so and that's why I enjoy the Kennedy, because the Kennedy will not never fire. As long as your batteries are making contact, this thing will always fire. That's why I like hybrid tops. Because I've noticed that with a lot of these mods, the ones that have misfire issues are the ones with 510s. Hmm. Like that you're, sucks uh, that you have to go through that. 
I mean, it's good now. Like, I've got the broadside piece in there. So, it's fine. It is what it is. I'm good. I just need my copper. And maybe when I get the copper RDA, uh, maybe I can just run the HBs and not need anything in between them. Yeah. I mean, I don't um, I don't foresee the 510 being as wide in length as, the, uh, as it needs to not rattle, but... I have a fairly... Fairly new... Um, can you see what I'm seeing or no? Yeah, just be real careful because you're screen sharing to like the whole stream yep. in case there's some like dick pics on there. I don't have any of that. Um, no any... dick, I mean. Oh, okay. I was gonna <laughs> say I was like, no pictures of it, or there's nothing to take a picture of. Yeah. Um. But yeah, talking. Of, we're. I mean, we're not experienced in stacks. I mean, you got two. I've got one. But um, there's this new mod right here. It's the 1111 mod. It's 125 bucks. You can buy the stack for 60. You can get copper, brass, stainless steel, all that good stuff. And this uses a 2700 mech batteries. And I was wondering if sometime here in the near future, you and I could purchase something like this as far as another stack goes. And uh, see we how could. It would just have to be like in another few weeks. Uh, yeah, I know. It's. I mean, this thing is like brand new. It's been out for like two weeks maybe. And See, is that a hybrid this. top, though, or is that a 510 pin on there? It's hybrid. Okay. Yeah, it's hybrid. Um, there we go. Like, once yeah. once I buy the rest of my Kennedy shit and I get all the wire paid for that I got to send at the Beantown, then I'll be, like, back, like, 100% on track. Because, like, I'm done buying vape. Like, I'm done with regulated mods. Regulated? Yeah, like, I'm, I honestly am, dude. I'm getting dude. close. <laughs> like, I'm so sick and tired of spending 70, 80 bucks on a mod and then finding out that it's a piece of garbage. Like, I'm honestly, like, really done with it. Yeah. So, anyways, that was, that's just something I think we could go with. I mean, it's, it's on the higher end of expenses, at least. It's not on the, like, the low, cheap ass end where it's, like, $90 for the whole thing. But, right. But it's not, it's not badly priced either. Like, when, when you're, I, I, the way I see it is that a, a good price for a solid mech mod is in like uh, the 90 to like 140 range like when and that's when you know you're getting you know something milled out of a solid chunk of whatever metal you're getting you know you know that the the milling is going to be good you know that the everything is going to be on point you know and it's going to hit like a truck i feel like whenever these people are buying these mods that are like two three four hundred dollars you're buying the name you know, like the scoundrels and shit, like they they look really dope. Like the engraving is really dope, but I would rather go out and like take this mod and take like this roundhouse and go ship it out to a guy and pay him a hundred dollars and have it custom engraved with whatever the fuck I want. Like there's a guy locally here in Connecticut that does crazy shit. Like he does some insane shit with mods. Like if you want a yeah. full on artistic picture carved on your mod, he can do it. And he's not that badly priced. So if I'm gonna go spend three hundred dollars on a mod, I'd rather spend hundred and fifty bucks on a decent base mod that's got a nice thick wall, and then pay him the rest to have it custom engraved with whoever I want. Like, if I'm gonna pay four hundred dollars for a scoundrel, you're buying it because it has scoundrel engraved down the side. Like that's cool for some people, but for me, if I'm paying four hundred dollars, I want to get my money's worth, and I don't think my money's worth is getting the name scoundrel on it like everybody else out there. I just yeah. don't see it being worth it, which is kind of like a personal preference. Like I know a lot of people pay for these scoundrels because they're not exactly a common thing to find. You're not going to walk into your local vape shop and find a, a fucking scoundrel sitting on the counter. Like it's just not going to happen. But I don't know. I, I've seen these guys selling these mods that are two years old for six, seven hundred dollars just because they're they're rare and like I can understand that but for six or seven hundred dollars you can end up with a couple of really dope mods that are fully custom engraved. I just yeah. can't I can't get down on that. So um as far as this Kennedy goes, uh as as he said a little bit ago, I mean <clears throat> I think I, I mean, I would absolutely recommend this for an advanced vapor, obviously not a beginner vapor. If you know Ohm's Law and all that shit, absolutely, I'd recommend it. But here's what I might recommend. If you've had a Roundhouse V2 for any period of time before these stacks come out, I wouldn't buy the stack for it. 
because maybe that's the problem why yours doesn't fit together mint. Oh, I'm sure. And perfect. But I so mean, if you're but... gonna buy the stat, you want. I think you need to buy an updated roundhouse, an updated Kennedy RDA, and the stat as a combo. Do the build your own, and everything so far that I have fits perfectly together. Right, but I mean, you still you. I don't think the seams are ever gonna be a hundred percent, but you still have the discoloration issue that I have. Yeah, like I, I think I, they're with not. Anything, though you're gonna like, have that. I don't. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it really. I, I can't I couldn't advise somebody to be in my position and spend the extra 120 bucks and get a whole nother mod when the seams aren't going to be like a thousand percent and you're still going to have the discoloration like if you're still going to have like like I don't really mind the seams like the seams aren't bad enough for me to talk a whole lot of shit the worst thing for me is the discoloration like the change in color is the biggest issue for me because it's so fucking noticeable and if you're going to yeah. have that either way, I, I don't see why. You'd, I mean, if you got the money, go for it. But like the I, build was, I guess I was referring to mainly just the battery rattle. I think maybe that's why you have so much battery rattle. Yeah, it's either that. it's either I see, I mean, I think I think what it is, I think it's really about I think the 25s, they do have a longer pin. I think that's what it what it really is. Is those okay. 25s having such a longer pin? Cuz I did notice that on mine that the pin was like another fucking half millimeter uh longer than my 24 um i think it might honestly be a two post thing i think the two post ones in general 24 or 25 have a longer 510 so i'm gonna see if i can get a copper two post at the shop come wednesday but if they don't have one then it is what it is i just want a copper 88 at this point i mean i i I would recommend the thing i mean i've only had it for not almost a week and I would recommend it, but just be careful of which pieces you're putting together as far as battery rattle goes. And if battery rattle doesn't bother you, I mean, if you got just a little bit of play in there and you don't mind spending 12 bucks on that, uh, what is that? The broad, not the broadside, the roundhouse. No, the broadside insulator. Stack yeah, it's for the broadside. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's not broadside. even for this mod. It's it's right. not even a piece that's made for this mod. Yeah. If if you don't mind spending that extra twelve dollars to put that in there, then I I think it's stellar. Well, like the the twelve bucks, like I think it's a bit of a ripoff for twelve dollars, but you get you get the safety of having that plastic around the, the metal. Rim. You yeah. get you get the safety of knowing that you're not gonna like drop the thing on the floor and have that magnet slide out of place and touch the wall of your mod and go down to pick it up and burn your hand and then have the thing launch up off the floor and hit you in the balls. Do you know what I mean? Like I would rather spend the 12 bucks and know that there is a level of safety built into where those two uh, batteries are touching than to just have a, like I personally don't really like running the magnets period, whether it's the big uh, washer style or, um, or it's like the little button ones that I sent you. I would rather not have anything metal, like full metal between them anyways. Um, I would just rather have like this broadside piece. I'd, I'll recommend these to anybody. Um, I would definitely say if you're going to order a stack, order the broadside piece with it. Just for the sake of um, of having the safety built in. Just because that plastic is super duper nice. Like it's really hey, wicked nice. Where did nice. you get your uh, that insulator? That that. From the broadside site. It's uh, BJ Box Mods. They make uh, a bunch that's... of box mods, and they also sell the insulators. It's under, like, their parts and shit list. Yeah. Um, there's a JB's website as well. They sell um, unregulated devices. It's, it's pretty good. It's just It's just like BJ Box Mods and stuff. I think I might buy that as well. But see, that's the thing. If it's not as thick as that magnet, then I'm going to get battery rattle no matter what. Right. But And here's here's my issue with the battery rattle is that you're you're getting the battery rattle because there's the, your batteries aren't touching on the top or on the bottom. Okay. So whenever you go to take a hit, your battery is pushing up against that RDA. And in the time that it takes for that battery to touch, it's a fucking blink of an eye. But when that gap gets close enough, you arc for a second. So okay. every time you hit that button, you're going to arc. Yeah, right. As long as you get that rattle. And that's why I don't want to have that rattle, period, at all. And you will, you can look on your mod, 
if you take that magnet out and you run your batteries just touching batteries and you hit that button, you're going to notice the throw I'm talking about. And if you look through the top air hole, you can see the thing arc. Like, you can see it arc every time you take a hit. And that's that's not legit at all. So that's why, like, I had a couple friends who wanted to buy stacks for their mods, and I was like, yo, order the order the broadside insulator. I was like, just get it. And they're like, why, dude? And I was like, just get it. Like, just to be safe. Like, it's an extra 12 bucks, but you you cannot put a price on your own is safety. That, is that the only thing you bought at the broadside site? Yes, I just bought that. I did get the HB4s, and I also bought the magnets from a different from different websites just to be safe. Um, cause, you know, is there shipping on that on that twelve dollar little shit? Piece um, I you? can tell you exactly how much it was. I got the receipt somewhere right here. Um, actually, I'll look it up on my regular. I'm on a computer, dude. Why am I pulling up my phone to like look at shit in email? Um, let me see the. Um, the entire order. Was, oh, I'm on the wrong thing. That's why. Okay, I'm like, why is it not showing up my email? Um, it was a total of. Um, your order is complete. It was three dollars and sixty cents, uh, for, for shipping. shipping. So it was fifteen sixty in total. Do they have spend a certain amount and get free shipping? I have no idea. Okay. I have no clue, but I and I mean the thing is is that like it's it's never like it's never gonna break on you like it's not something that you're gonna break um i i kind of wish that they used a magnet instead of just a metal plate um but like it's not gonna break and i, I honestly dude i don't know what the plates made out of it could be silver for all i know because it doesn't quite look like stainless or anything like that um, if it's silver i guess twenty dollars is pretty or twelve dollars is legit you know if it's if it's silver i'm gonna see if i can find if it says what that piece is made out of i doubt that it does but it might um their website is like really hard to use um replacement parts let's see um let's see where the hell is it i don't even see it on their website dude that kind of sucks where the hell is it Um, broadside insulator. It's under the yeah, their replacement parts. I didn't. I don't see it. It'll be under mods, broadside mods. I I know that, but like it's oh. not. I don't see it. I just looked at it. Oh, and there it is. I just refreshed, and now it shows up. Okay. Unbelievable. Um, and that's it. Oh, and another gripe that I have about the uh, the roundhouse is that you can't get a replacement switch for it. And I don't think oh. they sell like I've. I, I'll guarantee that that O ring is gonna like burn out eventually, and it's gonna not do its job. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what they're made out of. Um, and I don't think there's. Anybody that tells you either, which sucks. Um, yeah, um, what you know. what you can buy, it's thirty five dollars. So I mean, it kind of kind of sucks as a replacement switch housing. Yeah, but that's for the ruby. Oh, it is for the ruby. That sucks. I can't believe they charge five dollars for that fucking little toolkit they get. I know. That's and it's and it's not like it's some like Kennedy Allen key. Like it's not like it's something they mill. Like it's just yeah. a shitty little ten cent Chinese made Allen key. Yeah. But like that's one of my problems that I that I kind of have with Kennedy is that they don't really have a lot in the flavor of like replacement parts and and shit like that like you can get you know obviously the screws and the o-rings for your rda um i yeah. think that the switch itself if you get the switch assembly for the ruby i think the switch itself is the same as the roundhouse but what i'm after is the um 
O-ring is the O-ring and shit, battery. just in case, yeah. And they don't. It might have be that. something that you have to personally call, like, message them about, and hope they respond back to you. Right. That's I got it. Well, they they sent me a phone number for my issue, so now I can at least call them if I have any problems, which you goddamn better believe I will. But like, yeah, you can't like. Um, so they got, you know, they, they've got like a lot of stuff. They've got like the 24 and the 25, like squonker kits and shit like that, which is kind of cool. Um, but like, I don't know. I would just expect there to be like a little bit more stuff on here to like replace their stuff. Like if I, if I end up with a, if I end up like dropping my switch, like mine did and it gets dented and I can't use it anymore or, you know, that O-ring bails out and fucks up. What do I do? nothing i can't use the mod and i gotta yeah, buy another one you stuck and i kind of wish that it wasn't like that like i wish you could just like buy a new switch and be done with it dude it is freaking unreal hot down here dude like i'm sweating like crazy right now like it is unbelievably hot is that because you're semen yes okay yes i have spicy semen but, yeah so if you want if you want special parts for this such as like the o-ring in particular which the o that's what's weird is that o-ring that keeps the battery snug that's the only thing you can't purchase from their site that and the switch itself the switch housing i think the oh, switch is the you're same talking about this outside part yes yes okay yeah i guess you're right about i that I, too. I think the switch I, I from what it looks like is the exact same as the one in the ruby and i don't know anybody with a ruby that i could swap the two out and see if they work simultaneously but there is no housing like there's no like mine is dented like that dumbass <laughs> dropped it and dented it so if i wanted to buy a new one i couldn't yeah when i i'm gonna call them tomorrow though and when i do i'm gonna see if they have anything if they have any options for that but, like, dude, go to their specials page. Like, they've got some dope shit on there, dude. I was there a little bit ago. I'll go back. Like, they've got some um, cool, cool, cool shit. Like, you can get, like, the blemished Ruby 25. You can get that for, like, 60 bucks. And it's yeah. got, like, a little scar in it, which sucks. But, like, you can get some cool shit from there. Like, they've got some really cool shit. Like, the, the white uh, caps, like, those are cool as shit. They just got, like, little chips and shit in them. Like, who cares? Get it? You get a cap for 15 bucks? Like, why yeah. the hell wouldn't I? Oh, that cap is dope as shit. You know, they got they got a ton of really dope ones, and they got, like, the the, the blend uh, 24 comps for $42. That's a $100 RDA that. yeah. for 42 bucks. And there's, like, nothing really wrong with them, except for, like, if you look at the, the 24 comps, the, the Blem ones, there's a little, like, extra milling on the top side of the inside where it doesn't affect jack shit. It's not going to affect how the cap sits. It's not going to affect how it hits. It's going to affect nothing. And those are $42. Yeah. I like that $15, just the white cap. Yeah. It's pretty and sweet. You can, I don't like, know why they're adding their... Um, Anodized caps, they're fucking expensive as shit. Oh, I know. That's which is weird because it's a cheaper metal, it's aluminum. I I don't know. I I don't know why they price this stuff the way they do. See, I mean, like it the, looks cool like the splatter and shit, but that's that's pricey for a fucking You could just cap. you could just acid ink it yourself, honestly. And it would cost you like $4 and it would look however you want it to look. What the hell is the Gremlin? Oh, dude, they have blemished extension tubes for the V2 roundhouse. Yeah, the brass ones? Yeah. Oh, the gremlin is, like, the little tiny one. Yeah, that was before Kennedy, I think, or just after they came out with the Kennedy. Comes your choice of 22mm deck and demon tip. The black gremlin is missing the K in Kennedy, dude. That's dope. <laughs> what are you vaping? An entity? Yeah, I got an entity, dude. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, they got. Some, I mean, that obviously they wouldn't sell stuff on there that's gonna be obviously unusable, un like dangerous to your health. Right? No, they no, no. They wouldn't do that. No. So, but uh, yeah, I I think the Kennedy is fantastic, and I think the iJoy is uh, also fantastically, fantastically terrible. Yeah. No, I. I'm happy. I'm happy with the Kennedy now that I got it sorted out. Um, the iJoy though, I don't think is ever going to be used again. 
So now I gotta figure out how to get this griffin up and running so I can use that. Because I the, still haven't been able to use that. The RTA? Yep. Uh, I've tried wicking it. I honestly have wasted a half a bag of cotton bacon, and the thing still either leaks or dry hits. Like, I cannot find I'm going to buy some Jap cotton pads so I can, like, accurately cut how exactly how much I'm putting is, in there. Um, Is that the dual griffin or the single coil griffin? Dual. Dual? Okay. Uh, There is... Have you messed with the juice flow on it at all? No, uh, a little bit, but, like... If I can't put, like, a build I'm going to enjoy in there that's going to suck up a lot of juice, I'm not going to use the fucking thing. Well, the thing with the juice flow is it just slows it down. It doesn't stop it from going to it. I no, mean, I understand that. Just as hit. Yeah, but no, but if I take a hit and it fucking burns the cotton because it's not getting enough juice, then fuck that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that works. This reload RTA, I have had zero leaking problems with this. It is hard to wick as well. It's, I mean, even if you wick it improperly, what's going to happen with it is that you're going to get a burnt hit because you don't have enough cotton in there to soak up the juice. It doesn't leak, though. If you put too much in there, you're going to get a dry hit because there's too much cotton, but it still doesn't leak. Like, right. this does not leak, period. I don't, there's no way for it to leak. Right. Wicking on it isn't easy, but it's, it doesn't leak, so. I mean, that's better than the Griffin. That's hard to wick up, and it leaks if you do it wrong. This, you can wick it wrong, but it don't leak, so. Right. Dude, I'm about to buy one of these fucking cross and skull engraved 25 roundhouses, dude. Those $215 ones, dude? I seen those. Yeah, those, those thing, that's, those a, that's, that's awesome. a good deal, too. Yeah, but know. like you said, they're not one of a kind. No, they're not by no means. No. Um, but I mean, yeah. you know, the the RD is a hundred dollars. The mod is a hundred and twenty, so you're still saving like thirty bucks. Yeah. So it's not like you're paying more to have it engraved. You're saving money and getting a, a cool engraved mod. But like, I don't know. I I just want to get my fucking copper. I really don't care. Get your copper, Kennedy dude, and then we'll fucking go from there. I might just. I might just. Tr get a copper cap and run the stainless because I'm looking at that on their website and it looks kind of nice, but I don't know. I don't really care at this point. I just want this thing to be good. Uh, but I think I'm good. I should probably I'm go good. and get some coffee and shit before I stream tonight. Switch. Yep. What the fuck? But it's, uh, this was uh, pretty good. Ooh. I think I think it was pretty good. Oh, yeah. But you can, you can end stream. We can talk more if you want, but yeah, I'm going to run upstairs, make some food, get some coffee, all that shit, and then I'll be back in a little bit. Okie dokie. All right. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. And this is Zerby Vapes, and we are out, right? Yeah. Yeah, bye. All right. Yeah, see